In 1966, Star Trek debuted on television and dazzled the world with spectacular visions of the future. Little did we know how accurate those visions were. Back in 1966, having a little tiny device in your pocket that you could use to call anybody you want sounded like witchcraft. And now, almost every person on the planet has one. We still don't know what kind of dark magic powers them, but we're getting close, getting close. While we're still pretty far away from getting a replicator that can just make food out of nowhere, tough breaks, Africa, we are improving our 3D printing technology exponentially every year. If we could already Already make these crazy hexagon balls. Just think of what the future holds. Have a look at this, Captain. The windows on the Enterprise are made out of transparent aluminum. In Star Trek The Voyage Home, they used it to kill a bunch of whales. We're already using aluminum-based transparent goo, and it was invented by this man. In the first episode of the series, when Ohora would answer people on her ear device, people must have been thinking, why is the black lady talking to herself? Who let her in there? Even though we've been using headsets for a while now, we still haven't figured out how to not look like a douchebag using them. Every Everybody in the future is always shooting up those hypo sprays. Uh. And they never have to worry about getting those pesky needle infections. Well, researchers at MIT just invented a needle smaller than the nose of a mosquito. We've come a long way in 50 years. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I saw this on TV. Talking to your computer was once an idea thought only to be in Star Trek. And now we have Siri, another woman in my life who won't listen to me. Did you know that Spock invented the idea for for the iPad? In the classic episode titled, Spock Put Down My Goddamn iPad, Spock would utter the famous words that would later inspire Steve Jobs. Ooh. The holodeck was a magical room where you could live any kind of life you wanted. Although we're pretty far away from that being a reality, tough breaks, Africa. The Oculus Rift and VR in general is shaping up to be the next best thing. We can finally immerse ourselves into the digital realm forever. Star Trek also foreshadowed the legalization of gay marriage. There's no need to be uh, embarrassed about it, Mr. Spock. It happens to the birds and the bees. The birds and the bees are not Vulcans, Captain. Come on, Spock, I know that look. Uh. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and a subscribe. It really helps us out. So next time I release a video, you see it first.